Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel on Design. Today we are going to be talking about the gold sewing machine that I've already uploaded on my YouTube channel. If you have not watched that video, I'll put the link on the description box below so that you can go and watch that video. I am going to be talking about the disadvantage of the Jockey sewing machine and the disadvantage of the Bonilla sewing machine. So as you can see right here, I have my Bonilla sewing machine right here. And I have my Juki sewing machine right here. The both sewing machine are home domestic sewing machine. The Bonilla sewing machine that you see right here is for overlocking all your dresses or whatever you're making. While the Juki sewing machine is for you to stitch any dresses or whatever you're making. So if you have not support us by subscribing, please go ahead and click that red button that says subscribe thumbs up on our video make a comment down below if you have any question if you're just stopping by before you exit that video remember to subscribe subscription is free and let's get started First thing first, let's talk about the juking sewing machine. So when I make a video about the juking sewing machine, I haven't started using the sewing machine. I just bought it and I make a tutorial and I upload it on my YouTube channel. So I have used it for quite some time now. So I have known the advantage and the disadvantage of the sewing machine. So let's talk about the ad good advantage of the sewing machine. The sewing machine is really nice and the stitches is very good and it stitch very neat and clean. And the speed is also very good. It's not so, uh, depends. You can reduce the speed. You can make the speed lower. You can reduce the speed. So it's really, really good. And also the sewing machine has a scissors. You don't need to look for a scissors to cut your thread. You just press the scissors and it just cuts your thread for you. And the other good part about the sewing machine is also on the alphabet that you see right here. All this alphabet, you can use it to create a name on anything on your dresses or on your pants. You can even use some of them as flower whereby you can use it as embroidery or your dresses or pants or anything that you are making. So which is very good. Before you teach it on your dress, you have to set it on the sewing machine. So the sewing machine will just do the work for you. So let's talk about the disadvantage of the sewing machine. The disadvantage of this sewing machine is the button hole foot this is the buttonhole foot that comes to the sewing machine it has a plate right here so this is where you're going to put your fabric when you are stitching your buttonhole what i don't like about this buttonhole foot is that like right now you open it it's quite wide when you put your dress it's very easy but when you place the buttonhole foot on your sewing machine and when you're going to stitch a buttonhole on your dresses, you can, this gap right here will become very tight. And sometimes it's very hard to put your fabric inside this gap that you see right here. So sometimes you have to do something to push your dresses or whatever you're going to put a buttonhole, you push it inside before it will go through. And when it stitches, sometimes the stitches doesn't come out nice. Especially when you iron interfacing on your dress or on your pants that you're going to stitch a buttonhole. If you iron interfacing on your dress or your pants, when you push it in, when you set your sewing machine to buttonhole stitches, it doesn't stitch back and forth. When your button is stitching, it's stitching backwards and then forward sometimes when you stitch it you just get stuck so the needle will just stay there just keep going back and forth back and forth so it doesn't go backward and forward so it messes up your dress or whatever you're making and the stitches will not come at nine let's say for instance you're making that for a client it already messes up the dresses normally what i do once i am done making all the dresses 
I will take my dress to a different shop that has a buttonhole sewing machine. They are the one that normally stitching a buttonhole stitches on my dress. So this is the disadvantage of the sewing machine. This buttonhole is not good. It's very complicated and I don't really like it. If you don't iron interfacing on your dresses, it might work a little bit but it is always difficult to pass your dresses through here because the moment you fix it on your sewing machine it becomes very tight you have a very tiny gap right here so this is the disadvantage of the juki sewing machine this is my bonilla sewing machine that my husband bought for me i make a tutorial about the sewing machine and how i feel about the sewing machine i was so excited i have over local sewing machine before so we were thinking when we are moving out of the country it is better for me to have a sewing machine that i will just put in a box and just take with me than industrial sewing machine industrial sewing machine is quite heavy and to ship that, that will cost more money. So I decided to sell that sewing machine and my husband bought me this sewing machine. The number of the sewing machine is L850. This is the new Bonilla sewing machine they just made. And the good thing about the sewing machine is that it can thread itself. If you want to know how to thread the sewing machine, you can go to YouTube and there are so many YouTube videos on how to thread the sewing machine. The inside the sewing machine, there is a uh, hook inside that the sewing machine can just thread itself. Let's say for instance, you have industrial overlocker you have to thread it by yourself. So you have to thread it very, very carefully and make sure everything is right. But this sewing machine, it just does it for you. You don't have to worry about that. You just put the thread and follow the instruction and it just thread the machine for you, which is very, very good. If you are a beginner and you don't know how to thread your own sewing machine, I would recommend this sewing machine because the sewing machine will just thread it for you. And also, if you're a beginner, I also recommend that you should know how to thread your own sewing machine. If you are a tailor or you are a fashion designer, it is better for you to know how to thread your own sewing machine. You don't depend on the sewing machine to thread it for you. Let's say tomorrow you decide to have industrial sewing machine then you have to know how to trade that for yourself. So I'm going to talk about the disadvantage of this Bonilla sewing machine. Like I said before, the new model is L850. The bad feelings I have about the sewing machine is that when I bought the sewing machine, after a week, I had to take it to a technician to fix it for me. When I was using it, then I started hearing a sound. The sound was weird. So I keep hearing this sound over and over again. I tried to fix it myself, but I couldn't. So I have to take it to a technician to fix it for me. Normally, when you buy a sewing machine, it takes years before it has issue, before you will take it to a technician and fix for you. But mine was just one week. So that is the bad feelings I have about the sewing machine. And when you tread the sewing machine, make sure you should be very, very cautious. Be cautious about the numbers at the front where you are going to set the numbers. Be very cautious about if there is going to be an issue. So be cautious about that. So that is the bad feelings I have about this sewing machine. The only good feelings I have about the sewing machine is that it trade in self. Nothingness. Every other thing is just okay. So this is the my disadvantage about the Bonilla sewing machine. For my Juki sewing machine, I haven't had any issue with it. The stitches are still very good. The speed is still very good. Everything is still very good. The only disadvantage is the button hole foot. Every other thing is really, really perfect on this Juki sewing machine. But for Bonilla sewing machine, if you are a beginner or you are just started, you just start tailoring or you just start fashion designer, I may recommend this Bonilla sewing machine a little because it can trade itself. That's all. 
but if you are a beginner you really want to know how to trade your own sewing machine i will not recommend this vanilla sewing machine i will recommend that you should buy a sewing machine that you can trade there are so many tutorials out there on how to trade a sewing machine or overlocker sewing machine buy a sewing machine that you can trade yourself you understand how to trade it and it will be very very fine you don't have to depend on a sewing machine that can trade itself. Tomorrow, there might be issue that it can't trade itself anymore and there is nothing you can do about it. So it is better for you as a beginner or for you as a tailoring or a fashion designer to buy a sewing machine that you can trade, you understand, and it's easy for you to use. This is how I feel about my Juki sewing machine and my Bonilla Overlocker sewing machine. I hope you learn one or two things from this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to support us by subscribing, thumbs up, make a comment down below if you have any question, and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.